Now, when I think social isolation, minimal human contact and please don't leave your house, I think Judith Lucy. Judith, welcome back to The Weekly. Oh, Charlie, it's so good to be here. And I am loving the lack of audience and laughter. As a comedian, <laughs> I'm just really digging the silence. Now, Judith, I understand that this season you wanted to take a more humanitarian, compassionate, walk a mile in their shoes approach to the news. Charlie, have you seen my new opening titles? No, but I'm very excited to see Can them. Can we have a look at those? Making it the hottest March day ever recorded. Dramatic scenes in Paris this morning. The bushfire emergency unfolding across the, the state. Coronavirus result spread. in 150,000 Australians dying. What, what about me? me? Yeah, hello, it isn't fair. Frankly, I've had enough and now I really want my share. What about me? What about me? That's very elaborate for something you made on isolation, mm. Judith. Well done. Um, not what I was expecting. Well, Charlie, a lot of people are banging on about community and connection at the moment, but I've just decided no matter what the topic is this year, I'm just going to be a lot more self-focused. Yeah, but that's fine, Jude, but this virus is, is brutal. A lot of people are falling through the cracks. <laughs> are they? Oh, look, actually, i tell you who I have been worried about, Charlie. Hmm? The drug lords. Right. You know, that crank isn't going to smoke itself, Charlie. I mean, my God, these people can't dip into their superannuation. <laughs> the only thing they can dip into is an innocent person's skull once they've publicly executed them. And that's not going to pay the bills, Charlie. I mean, you can't <laughs> buy rice with a bit of brain. Anyway, Charlie, um... What about me? I'm sorry, Jude. Yes, what about you? Thank how how you. are you Thank doing? You. Well, I'm actually doing really well because like Marie Kondo, Charlie, I've decided to use this time to ferment turnips. And I would urge everyone out there who's grappling with feelings of despair and loneliness to simply do more with root vegetables and brine. <laughs> and for those of you living alone, no, I didn't just tell you to root a vegetable, but I do feel your pain. Uh, so, Jude, what, what else are you doing? Oh, Charlie, I'll show you. I mean, like everyone, I'm just getting so much done. I mean, here I am baking. Oh, here I am finally starting that vegetable garden. Here I am learning a language. Charlie, I spent the first three weeks simply getting hammered and masturbating. Oh, and I also had a birthday. Oh, how was your birthday? Actually, it was great. This is completely true. I cleaned out my freezer and I really felt that I'd achieved something when instead of using it, I threw out an old bottle of amyl that I found. Right, and have you been struggling a little, Jude? Of course I have, Charlie. I can't cook, I don't like myself and I forgot to have children. What am I supposed to do? Right, so you're feeling a little lonely? Oh, do you think? <laughs> do you know how many articles just assume that you're in a family? Get the whole family involved in planning a menu. Duncan, what shall we have for dinner tonight? This is Duncan, my cloth stuffed squirrel. I don't know, Judith, maybe big beans or cheddar again. Invite the whole family to make sourdough or just get f***. And you know what, Charlie? This isn't a joke. This is my actual life. This is currently my most significant relationship. Right. Um, any final tips, Jude? Well, Charlie, you might notice that my hand is in a bowl of ice. Ah, yes, yes. I've, I've read about this. If, if you can um, focus and breathe through the pain, this can actually be quite relaxing. Oh, really? No, I was just doing it because I wanted it to stop me from masturbating on national television. And I am so glad I don't have to shake your hand. Judith, thank you. See you next week. Maybe. <laughs>